Okay, Google, show me a young earth creationist that has a giant inflatable banana in his backyard that he calls Dr. Peel. Hey guys, this is Matt Powell. <laughs> How do dearest viewer welcome to my little corner of the YouTubes? I've got in it to know. If you like my new mic, this is Magic Mic, and this will enable you to hear my dulcet Boltonian accent even more clearly than ever before. <laughs> so, if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe. Please leave a like, please leave a comment. Um, I will answer and like all comments. That's what I do. That's in my nature because I'm a kind hearted chap. Anyway, and I nearly forgot, don't forget click bell notifications so you know when there is a new video coming out anyway this is um matt powell from his youtube channel matt powell official uh, i don't know why he's got an official on the end of it but there you go probably dr peels told him to do it but it doesn't matter anyway anyway um yes matt powell is a young earth creationist and he is an unbelievable moron and science denying halfwit um he puts all his faith and trust in the bible um, which is absolutely fine and he does an awful lot of preaching and he gets an awful lot of things wrong as we are going to see in this video anyway matt the floor is all yours so evolutionists all claim that mutations are the reason that you'll evolve from a frog to a prince over millions of years and they say that mutations will create new information and that you go from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to mankind. See, told you. Gets it wrong straight off the bat. Frogs into princes? Really? See, on the evolutionary tree, amphibians go off into that particular branch. Humans go off into that, you know, primates and that go off into another branch. Nowhere absolutely nowhere in an evolutionary textbook does it say that we evolved from a frog nowhere in an evolutionary science book or any science book whatsoever will tell you that no matter how many times you kiss a frog all it's going to give you is sore lips it's not going to turn it into a prince no and you know i used to like the teenage mutant ninja turtles but that was fiction folks but that's what they believe they believe that we mutated from uh, an amoeba to a fish, to frogs, to all sorts of different animals. And then before you know it, you've got humans. You know, you go from Australopithecus afarensis, Lucy, all the way up to Cro-Magnon man, Peking man, and Piltdown man, and all these frauds that have been debunked already back in the 90s. Piltdown man was actually debunked in 1953, um, and it is believed that a bloke called Charles Dawson um, perpetuated that particular hoax. You mentioned Lucy. That's one of my most favourite, Scarlett Johansson. Oh, films. I know which Lucy you're talking about. Um, you're a bit behind the times, aren't you? Because scientists in 2009 discovered um, a, hel uh, a skeleton which was dated about a million years before Lucy. Called, and they called her Ardi. A-R-D-I. Um, yeah, she was um, she was dated around a million years before Lucy, and that is the earliest known fossil of a human ancestor that we have now. Also, I have to ask, um, do you know the difference between evolution and mutation? Just asking. And, you know, you go and you evolve through this supposed chain of evolution, but there are no missing links. The whole chain is missing, according to Stephen Gould, who was one of the top scientists in his day. Well, Stephen Gould was a paleontologist, um, an evolutionist, and an historian of science. So why would you believe someone when he says, uh, you know, a qualified person when he says, an actual scientist, when he says that there are missing, you know, that there are missing links? But you won't believe him when he says that evolution is true. Uh, an historian of science says that evolution is true. Why won't you believe him then? Cherry picking much? 
And so they've looked for missing links in the fossils. They don't exist. That's why they're called the missing links. Really? But we're finding more and more transitional fossils like every year. You know, tetrapods and fish, um, birds and dinosaurs, mammals and mammal-like reptiles. We're finding them year on year on year. So what are you talking about, man? But back to the subject, the definition of a mutation is a copying error of previously existing information. No, they're not. Mutations are changes. Mutations are changes in the genetic sequence. And so it's information that gets taken from one parent and another parent. That DNA gets put together, but it corrupts. No, it doesn't. And so their hero is corruption. I think Bonnie Tyler sung a song about that. Their hero is gene degradation. So by all these errors, all these mutations, somehow we've become human. Somehow we've evolved to a point where we can live as human beings. Folks, that is just utterly pathetic and ridiculous. Wow, you just debunked evolution there by saying it's pathetic and ridiculous. Sorry, you're going to have to come up with something a bit, bit better. At least 98 or even 99% of mutations are deleterious. They hurt the genome. They hurt your genetic build. Yeah, I think you're talking about mutations and repair genes. But mutations can be like many types, like substitution or deletion or insertion or translocation, stuff like that. You know what I mean? And mutations are the reasons for cancer. Mutations are the reason for Down syndrome and autism. So the very thing that causes autism or Down syndrome supposedly is what makes us better. That's, those mutations make us better in evolution. Well, number one, evolution does not mean better, bigger, stronger, or what have you. And um, I must thank you, actually. Thank you, Matt, for admitting that your God has given us defective genes. Folks, what a joke. And if you're an evolutionist, the joke is on you for believing something that ridiculous. There is a mountain, an absolute unbelievable mountain of evidence for evolution. I'd like to see some of your evidence for creation, please. For believing that errors make information better. No evolutionist <laughs> even thinks that. It doesn't contemplate that at all. I can't find it in any textbook and anywhere. If I was to go to a copying machine and I took and copied a piece of paper and I took that paper that I copied and copied that and then copied that paper, copied that paper and copied off of a hundred different copies. You've run out of ink? It's only going to cause information to get lost. Again, that's not what evolution teaches and you're comparing copying paper to the mountains of evidence for evolution. Nice one, Matt. Nobody would ever go to a copying machine and say that the copy is better than the original. But according to evolution, the copy, yeah, that's, that's way better than the original. Definition of evolution, when we're talking in this context, obviously. I'm going to read it out. Evolution is changing the heritable characteristics of biological populations over successful generations. These characteristics are expressions of genes that are passed on from parents to offspring during reproduction. There you go, Matt. No mention of a fucking frog or a fucking prince. And absolutely no mention of a frog turning into a, a fucking prince. Boom. Magic mic drop. Folks, the joke is on them. And the joke is on any atheist YouTuber for believing something that ridiculous and teaching something that ridiculous. Just the fact that they would try to defend something so stupid. Just the fact that they'd try to defend surfing monkeys or surfing dinosaurs or dinosaurs even gassing themselves to a point where they warm the environment not the only thing full of gas is it magic map yeah uh, the the gassing and the warming of the uh, of the atmosphere is just one theory proposed by a couple of scientists um or just one hypothesis proposed um they're still studying it and they're still investigating it so you know surfing monkeys surfing dinosaurs it's perfectly plausible Oh, I, I, I give up with this man, I do. But stick around to the end if you want to listen to a bit of homophobia. Folks, that is just 
utterly pathetic. But they want to tell you that the Bible's inferior. Not inferior, just laughably stupid and absolutely wrong about absolutely everything. Um, if you want to believe that whales are fish, that's absolutely fine. If you want to believe that donkeys and snakes can talk and trees can talk, that's absolutely fine. If you want to think that slavery is perfectly okay, incest is perfectly okay, and beating your spouse is perfectly okay, then that's absolutely fine. But mutations are errors in the human genome. Can be errors in the human genome. Not always. How many more times have I got to tell you? Errors will not make things better. And even if you get a beneficial mutation here or there, overall, we're going downhill. Well, Magic Matt, humans haven't stopped evolving. We continue to evolve. But because it takes so long to reproduce, it takes hundreds of thousands of years for any evolution to take place. So we're not going downhill at all. We're constantly evolving. Evolution, and I'm sick of saying this, does not mean better. The second law of thermodynamics applies to genetics. No, it doesn't. It really doesn't. And so, don't be deceived, ladies and gentlemen, by people that think that we came from pond scum or that we're an animal. We didn't come from pond scum and we are animals by definition. The Bible says you were made in the image of God and the Bible says male and female created he them. And it was Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. And there we go. Magic Matt shows his true colours uh, by giving us a bit of homophobia. This is why I detest this man so much. What a ridiculous, shitty-ass thing for someone to say. And I thought the Bible preached love and taught love and respect and, you know, respect thy neighbour and all the rest of it. But oh no, not you. What would you do if your son or your daughter, if you had any children, what, um, what would you do if your son or daughter turned out to be gay? What would you do? Yes, that is magic, Matt. All done, all dusted, all debunked. Um, thank you very much for joining me if you have made it this far into the video. Please, please, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to like and share. And click bell notifications as well. Look out for more Wacky Wednesday videos and gameplay videos and TV licensing videos for so now. Toodle pip.